Peace and love. So, I'm just out in nature, having a moment to myself, just connecting. Tomorrow is mine and my mother's birthday. We share the same birthday and February the 22nd. So I'm just out, just having a moment, just to recuperate, just reflecting over my year of being 21. And a moment ago, I was just sitting, just having a silent moment with my eyes shut, just listening to the birds sing and chirp away. And I was feeling something to do with a wind turbine and the Pacific Ocean. And I was seeing a wind turbine fall into water or crash into an ocean or a sea or a lake of some kind or... I don't know if there are wind turbines in the Pacific Ocean or whether the image that I was being shown was just like metaphorical. But that's what I was seeing, so I just thought I would express it. Now, I'm just here, and if anybody did watch um, the tree connection that I did on the channel a few months ago, you would know that this stump that I'm sat on is the same stump. And previously we connected with this stump and we brought through guidance on time. And I thought it would be fitting to come back to the stump and connect with it once again and see if, if it has a message for us. Now, I have my hand on the stump just connecting and just feeling its vibration. Okay. An omen. Definitely a message. For some reason I feel like it's a message from nature rather than like a message from Gaia or even the Gaia is nature. It's just the way that energies presenting themselves. You know, the birds are making themselves very much so visible in front of me and they're flying around me and making me aware of them. And nature is basically like nature has a message. It's not just Gaia, nature itself has a message. So when we connect with this tree, we're connecting with nature, not necessarily just this, this tree or this stump. Okay, let's see what we're getting coming forward. Electricity and electrical currents I'm feeling something to do with feeling electricity through the body. That there's going to be an increased sense of feeling throughout the body, but it feels to do with like electricity or like impulses or energetic impulses. Okay, the tree, the tree is saying you felt it before. The stump saying you felt it before. You've experienced it before. This is, and they're saying that this is why the tree is able to kind of tell me of what is coming because the record keepers. Okay, I'm being told before, before we can experience God and you have to feel the message for yourself, but before we can experience God, and it's not saying that God is outside of us or God is a physical man or a physical being, or even that God is an embodiment, you know, however the message resonates for you, you know, feel it, but the message is coming. Before we can experience God, we must feel God. And it's almost that, um, not long ago, I posted something on my story on Instagram about, and the, it was a meme or a quote saying, it's crazy how 
your soul or your spirit knows something's off before it happens or something like that and it's the same it's that you have to experience it within you before you can experience it outside of you or you have to feel God within you before you can experience God or you can get to know God or something to do with like you must feel before seeing or feel before touching physically if that makes sense it's also like a level of trust within yourself that one must have I'm getting at why would anything show up or turn up if you have no belief in it or no faith in it I'm getting God never wants to prove anybody wrong he always wants to prove ev everyone right because everybody is right in their own sense everyone's connected to their own truth it's like why would he turn up if you don't have, if you don't believe in him for him to prove you wrong that's egoic that's acting from ego and the energy of god doesn't act from ego so before you can really know god or experience god you must feel god within you So this trees is the trees and it's more so coming like the trees because I'm looking out at all the other trees out here with me and they're saying like we have our own God and then I was sat just for a moment just thinking like well what's that and then I was waiting for the, message, the answer to come and it was that we're their gods and then it was not that we're their gods that freedom is their God and like and it was bringing me to like movement beings that can move or freely roam the planet and not and are not fixated to one position they are their gods but it's to do with freedom it's that the trees experience movement or they it's like they experience the planet through us Well, yes, it's like they are directly connected to the planet. We are an embodiment of like everything, of consciousness. So we're also an embodiment and a reflection of the planet itself. And as we experience, it, it's all a part of the planet. I can't explain it, but it's like when the trees put their roots into the ground and they're sucking the nutrients, they are also sucking up our experiences, our daily experiences, our emotions, our feelings, our collective energy. And as we move around the planet, we are sharing all that we are with the trees, if that makes sense. I'm sorry that it's a bit dark, but you know, when energy calls. I don't know, but I feel that I need to just walk and maybe hug or connect with a another tree and i feel that this is the one so i'm just going to place my hand on the tree ask for its permission to connect to receive to ground with this tree As I just asked to connect and I literally felt my heart centre, not shake or anything, but I just felt like a resonance in my heart centre. Okay. So we're just hugging the tree. Heart to heart. Chest to chest. And we just receive and ground and sink ourselves into the earth. 
and vibrate with nature. And as we do this, we envision the color green. We envision our heart space opening and pulling in divine love, divine light. Blessings, light codes, teachings. And we breathe. And we relax. And we calm. And we rejuvenate. And we feel safe secure, blessed, filled with gratitude. And we take this moment and we ask the tree to filter down into us anything that we need to be reminded of. Anything that we need to know, need to hear, need to listen, need to understand, need to understand. And we take this moment and we open ourselves up to receive. And we pause for a moment and allow the guidance, the messages, the codes to be filtered down into us. Now when you're ready, come back to yourself, feel your heart space, feel your body, send gratitude to nature, to this tree in particular, to yourself, and know that you are blessed that you are loved, you are necessary, and you are healing. I thank you for joining. I thank you for being present with me. I send you my peace, my love, my gratitude, peace and love. Ashe.